Nick Kroll is very blunt about where the crazy stories on the show, Big Mouth, come from. The stories come from the experiences of Mia and co-creator, Andrew Goldberg, our friends from elementary and middle school are from other writers, he reveals to us in a recent chat, watch the exclusive video above. We also had a friend who had sex with a pillow and Andrew actually had an orgasm while dancing with a girl. Kroll's show, Big Mouth, also co-created by Mark Levin and Jennifer Flackett, is an animated show on Netflix that centers on several kids in 7th grade as they navigate their way through puberty. Kroll and Goldberg have been friends since they were children and are the basis for the two main characters, Nick and Andrew, the latter being voiced by John Mulaney. The most memorable yet embarrassing moment on the show that came from real life was when the show's main female character, Jessie, Jessie Klein, has her first period during a school trip to the Statue of Liberty. It was based on our friend from childhood who was an early model for what we wanted Jessie to be, he says about the woman this happened to. She told Kroll and Goldberg about the incident after hearing about the show and both of them knew that was going in the show. The show's subject matter combined with the fact that it's animated has allowed the program to go in some pretty outrageous directions from having talking genitals to the hormone monster that serves as Andrew's instigator to act on his urges. Netflix has been very accommodating in letting the show do what they want but even times where he's been told to rein something in, Kroll admits that he agrees with their assessment. In one instance, Kroll remembers, we had Nick's sick old hormone monster take the thermometer out of its genitals and Netflix said, guys, we think you're going to have to cut that, and we were like, yeah, we agree. It's too disgusting. That being said, Netflix still didn't have a problem with Andrew's hormone monster having sex with the severed head of Garrison Keeler. Kroll also gave us some exclusive insights into what is planned for Season 2, which will be released later this year, including a new character. We're adding a shame wizard, because I think that's also a huge part of puberty, is the feeling that goes along with desire and awkwardness is the concept of shame. He also revealed that his character, Nick, might get a girlfriend voiced by Golden Globe winner Gina Rodriguez, that J, Jason Mansaukas, is still dealing with relationship issues with his pillow and that a lot of characters are going to continue trying to figure out who they are. Predict the Emmy nominees and winners now, change them until July 12th be sure to make your Emmy predictions today so that Hollywood insiders can see how their TV shows and performers are faring in our odds. You can keep changing your predictions as often as you like until just before nominees are announced on July 12th. And join in the fun debate over the 2018 Emmy taking place right now with Hollywood insiders in our television forums. Read more Gold Derby Entertainment News. Sign up for Gold Derby's free newsletter with latest predictions.